You may have seen that Notion has a calendar view built right into its functionality. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can replace your Google, Outlook, or any external calendar with a Notion calendar and why using Notion as a calendar even offers some benefits that those other calendars don't have. And make sure you stay until the end of the video where I'm going to show you how you can even view your own Google calendar right within Notion. But for those of you who don't know, my name is Daniel Langwish and this channel is focused on increasing value in tech, productivity, fitness, and lifestyle. And if you're enjoying this Notion series and want to see more, click the like button below, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on more Notion videos as they come out, just like this one. With that being said, let's jump into it. So you'll see here we're at this uh, blank screen here, and I'm going to basically just from scratch show you how you can start to create your own calendar within Notion and show you some of the awesome functionality that this has. Now you can just click this button here to do a full screen calendar, although I'm going to choose to actually do an inline calendar because we want some other things on this page outside of just the calendar to kind of work with it. Um, so we will just call this a calendar here and then we're going to go here and go calendar and but we're going to choose the inline calendar um, and so I'm going to call this Daniel's calendar um, and you'll see it brings up a month of where we are at today and the awesome thing about this is it functions a lot like a normal calendar so you can if you want a new event you can click new um, and I could click uh, love my wife if there was an everyday option I'd have to choose that but we'll say uh, tomorrow and then boom pops up right there don't tell her I deleted it and now it also has the functionality of you know you can go to each uh, day there's a little plus button you can add an item and you'll see that the date is auto populated for the day that you choose so that is really cool as it just uh, works like a normal calendar now the cool thing about events in Notion and this is something that really separates it from like a Google Calendar is when you create an event in Google Calendar, there's very limited functionality as to what you can do within the event, the event. You know, you can choose time, you can maybe add another person or stuff like that. But within Notion, you'll see if I had an event here, and you know, I could write work on research paper as the event, but then I've got an entire page here that I can do more stuff and I can add more blocks and more pages within pages and I can plan my whole research paper in here and that's something that you just cannot do within other calendars so Notion while it is very limited compared to like a Google Calendar in certain areas it connects to your work in ways that those just cannot do and you'll see here so we add this and it adds as an event and let's start you know adding we'll say I want to work out and and you can go and add specific times from the workout at 9 a.m. Um, and this is one downside is the inline calendar has when you include events with like times, it starts to cut it off. However, if you do the full screen calendar, uh, that doesn't show up like that, which uh, is good to know. But the reason I wanted to do an inline calendar is to show you the way that I handle recurring tasks. and that's kind of the, the, if I could think of the number one complaint people have for why they don't use Notion as a calendar, they say recurring tasks, they don't have a good way to do recurring tasks. And that's true, but I want to show you a couple ways that you can do recurring tasks with Notion that really isn't that bad. And it, it's going to really depend on what the type of task is. So for example, let's say I have a weekly task of or thing I need to do that is take out the trash. Um, and I need to do that every Tuesday. So I'm gonna add here, um, take out the trash. Um, and we will say I should do that at 8 a.m. Um, and so we have take out, and let me take the time off. So we can actually see the, take out the trash. And again, this is where a full screen calendar would work really well. But 
what you can do is basically whenever I get to that day and I complete it, what I do is I'll just go in and just immediately change it to next week. And you know, it's it's one click. It's I, I, I don't think that's too hard to do. It's not as convenient as just having an automatic recurring task, but that is one easy way that you can do is just every time you complete it, immediately change the date to the next one. However, what about something, you know, an example in my life would be like, I, I wanna work out five days a week, every week. So working out is a very common task. So this is where a little trick I found is using um, a template button. So you'll see I pull up template button here and it's asking you to configure the template button. So we are gonna change the button name to create workout. And then what we're gonna have, we just want this just to be um, text. Um, and we want it to just say workout. Um, to when it creates the event of the workout. And so you'll see we hit close. And so now I have this button down here that I can click and I can click and it's, whenever I click it, it creates a workout that I can immediately just drag into there and I can drag into there. So you'll see this, you know, <laughs> what it takes me all of a, you know, five seconds to throw workouts in for the entire week. There we go, and workout. And I could pick a specific time. But, and you can go down here and add more buttons. You know, I could add a button for, um, I don't know what's something I would go for a run. And we'll just call it create run. And then you could even go here and drag these and put them side by side. And now I've got a create run event that I can throw in. So you can add these buttons below your calendar to for things that you do really often. You just want to be able to click them and let them go in right away. Now you'll see looking at this calendar, the thing that jumps out to me is it looks kind of bland. Um, everything kind of um, blends together. It's all white. And unfortunately, you can't color coat uh, the specific boxes yet, but one way you can do it is by adding um, tags into it. So I could tag this as fitness, you know, all my workouts as fitness or, or whatnot. And then if I come down here to this and go to property, I can include tags in my, you know, in my view. So now, uh, it's very easy to me with all of my workouts, if they have fitness under them and they're blue and they kind of jump out, that's a good way if you're kind of wanting to color coat within Notion, uh, that's a good way to do it. Now you may be looking at this and thinking, okay, Daniel, like this, this is not as good as Google Calendar. Why would I use this? Why wouldn't I just use something that's built for a calendar? Well, I think a really powerful reason to use this is the way it can integrate into your master task database, meaning your database of all of the things that you have to do. Because you can add a view, and so I could add a table view. And now all you'll see all of my events are organized in this table, and I could even you know click and sort it by, uh, by date. But now, let's say I have a master task database. You know, this is just referencing a few things I've made. But let's say I have a master task database of all of the things I have to do, the due dates for them, as well as the events that I have. You know, I've got my tasks I'm doing and the events I have to go to. You can create a calendar view and now suddenly all those tasks and events and everything are all together on one calendar. I still use Google Calendar, but the frustrating part is I kind of have all of my events I'm going to over here and then I have all my tasks over here and I think Notion is starting to offer something where those can be connected and I think that's really the future is calendars where your all your task database and your events are combined together. So I definitely agree that uh, there's a lot of improvement that can be made here 
But I do think this is a really cool start. And I do think for some people who maybe don't need all the functionality of calendar, of, of Google Calendar and are okay with um, some of the slightly tedious nature of running a calendar in here, they might really like this. And I think a big benefit that uh, jumps out immediately is just the amount of detail that you can have within each event. I mean, you know, <laughs> I could in workout, I could have literally a template for my entire workout routine in there. I mean, that's just, I, I could have the, all of my tracking for my workouts within each page uh, of how I did for the day. You know, I, I could add a, a temp, a vacation, you know, button template, you know, we create a button and it's called vacation and it's got all of my stuff for vacation, you know, stuff to bring, uh, where we're going, uh, logistics, all that. And you just click a button and drag it into your calendar. And I mean, that just, you just don't get that in other calendar apps. So I think that's really cool that it has offerings like that in here. Now, in terms of disadvantages, I mentioned it earlier, uh, it's, it's still not great at recurring events. You know, there are workarounds that I mentioned, but it, it's it's kind of just like, ah, oh, come on. Like we, you, you have a calendar, um, recurring events are so common. I just wish they would add uh, an easier way to just make things weekly, monthly, stuff like that. And that would really take this calendar to something that can uh, replace Google Calendar for almost anyone. And speaking of Google Calendar, um, I also just wish there was better Google Calendar in integration. And I'm gonna show you uh, in a little bit my, my tip with uh, how you can view Google Calendar in here. But currently, there's no way for it to sync into your Notion Calendar and have those things. I mean, if that would just absolutely blow my mind if, if there was a way where my Google events and everything could sync into my Notion and all my tasks and stuff and have those just automatically. I mean, that would, that would be the greatest thing ever. And so speaking of that, my bonus tip for today is going to be how to view Google Calendar within your Notion setup. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to actually go to your Google Calendar. So go to here and I have uh, uh, stuff going on and you're gonna to wanna to go over to, to down to your calendar that you're gonna to wanna to sync. Um, you, you have to choose one of your calendars. So this um, could not be great if you have a bunch, multiple calendars, but for me, it works fairly well. And you're gonna click on these three dots here and you're gonna click settings and sharing. And the first thing you wanna see is you're gonna see this access permissions. You're gonna to need to make sure that says make available to public because then you're gonna go down and you're gonna see public URL to this calendar. And if you copy that, and then we're gonna head back over to Notion, and we're gonna go down here, and then we are gonna add a block and say embed. And it says embed link, and we are gonna paste that public link that we just copied. And click embed link, and it's loading and you will see we have my Google Calendar that we can, let's see. Yep, there, okay, it's a little wonky with the buttons there, but um, here we're gonna throw it at the top here. That we can completely resize and, and everything like that, um, which is really awesome. Um, you'll see actually if I switch back to my normal uh, workspace. I actually on my home base have just in a little box here my Google Calendar, which is just helpful for seeing, you know, it's it, it kind of makes me feel like I have my events here with my tasks. Now, this is a read only version. You can't add tasks. You can't uh, interact with it really at all. If you, if you mean, the only way you can interact is you can, fortunately you can change months and stuff like that. Uh, you can switch your view you know, different types of views, but you can't add tasks or anything like that, which is a little unfortunate, but uh, really cool thing that I found, um, and I hope uh, you're able to use that for yourself too. But that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, uh, make sure you click that like button below, and again, subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And make sure you click on the link next to me to see my whole Notion series that I'm working on right now, going through and seeing how to use this productivity app to better our lives. But that's it for today, until next time.